This section is going to be a great review of almost all the skills that we've learned this year. The I can statement for 5.5 is I can solve for y and graph, so let's write the word graph, linear equations. So the warm up here, again lots of review, the slope formula if you have a graph. So remember if you've got a graph we're thinking of the slope in terms of the rise over the run. The rise is whether you go up or down, that's why it has to do with the y's, and the run is whether you go right or left, that's, that's why it has to deal with the x's. And if you've got two points, then the slope is, it's the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And remember, the minus is part of the formula, it doesn't have anything to do with the signs of the numbers that we put in there for the, for the uh, coordinates. Okay, um, what does slope tell you? So stop and think about what slope tells you about a line. Uh, slope tells you two things. The first one is the number tells you how steep it is. Okay, and I'm going to put a number sign right there. And then um, the second thing it tells you is uh, slants which way. And the thing that tells you that is whether it's a plus or a minus, whether it's positive or negative, or in other words, what the sign is. Okay, so I'm going to write sign right there. What does the y-intercept tell you? Remember what the intercept means. Uh, intercept is where it crosses paths with the y-axis. So we're going to say where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay. Um, what is slope-intercept form? So remember, you've got to be able to just recall this quickly. Uh, this is from the last test. So y equals mx plus b. So you've got to make sure you know the difference between somebody asking you, hey, what's the slope formula, which is one of these, normally this one right here, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And when somebody says, hey, what's, what's slope-intercept form? So don't confuse form with formula. Slope-intercept form has the slope number and the y-intercept in it. Um, and then the slope formula has those subscripts in it. And then this one says for E, F, and G, it says put each equation in slope-intercept form. So this is a, a review of what we did yesterday in 5.4. So we want to isolate this guy right here. So that means we're going to subtract 10x from both sides. We've got a 5y on this side. Again, we want to write it with the x term first. So just kind of convention there. And we're, then we're going to divide by 5. Luckily, everything works out well here. We end up with uh, breaking this into two pieces. This is a negative uh, 2x, and this is going to be a plus 8. I think that one should look really familiar. Uh, this problem right here, a couple different ways to do this. Um, I'm going to do this in kind of a clever way. If you take a look here, notice um, we've got the y over on this side. So we could move both of those to the other side, but then we'd have to deal with this negative. Watch what happens if I just add y to both sides. Those will go away. I get negative x minus 2 on this side. 0 plus y is plain old y. And if you'll notice, that y is completely by itself. It's basically in slope-intercept form. All we need to do is do kind of a big pancake flip. We're going to take this side and this side, totally flip them around. So we're going to have y equals on this side. And then on the other side, we have the negative x minus 2. And that's in slope-intercept form. Uh, last one to take a look at here, um, we've got the y term right here, so let's move the x. We're going to do that by adding x, so I'm just going to cross that off over there. We have a 2y here, and x plus a 10, again, make sure you write that in the correct order, and then we're going to divide every term on both sides by 2. That's kind of a little bit of a shortcut there. And then we want to write this with a coefficient rather than writing x over 2. So remember, you can pull that out front. That's going to be a 1 half x, and then this is going to be a plus 5. So there are answers to the warm up. If you've got those skills down, then you're in pretty good shape because what we're going to do now is we're going to put all of that stuff together along with some graphing, and we're going to do these problems. This is uh, very similar to what your assignment's like today. So it says put each equation in slope intercept form and then graph the equation. So, um, gosh, that one looks pretty familiar. That's this problem right here. So we already did that. Notice how we moved those things around. So this is going to be pretty quick. It's y equals negative 2x plus 8. That means our line has to cross the y-axis at 8. Remember, uh, we do this a little bit backwards. We grab the number at the end to kind of anchor the line, and then we use the slope to do that stair-step pattern to make the, the slope of the line or tell us where it's tilted. So the y-intercept tells us where it crosses the uh, y-axis, and then the slope tells us which direction it's tilted and how steep it is. Holy cow, didn't we just talk about that? Yeah, that's the warm-up question right there.
okay so let's go through here and let's graph this so this would be a rise of negative one and a run of one so we're going to go down one over one or sorry down two over two over one down two right one down two right one down two right one so it's going to look something like that let's put one more point going the other direction instead of going down two let's go up two so instead of going to the right we're going to go to the left so it's going to look something like that so again we'll go ahead and draw a line extend that put arrows on it and we are all set to go anybody looking at this would know that that uh, that we did that one right let's take a look at this one right here uh, gosh that's the same one we did up above so if we know how to move those things around then we're in good shape this gets us y equals negative x minus 2 this is our anchor we know it crosses the y-axis at negative 2 we know the slope is negative 1 I'll make that look just a little bit better negative one so we're gonna go down one and right one down one and right one down one and right one so we've got this little pattern right here nice perfect 45 angle going down and then going the other way instead of going down and right we're gonna go up and back up and back up and back again that little nice step, stair step pattern we're gonna uh, extend to both edges of the graph we're gonna put an arrow on the end of it and we're gonna say we're in good shape there now um, let's see this is the same one right there um, just for the heck of it I'm gonna run through and do this one again from scratch so I'm gonna move this over by adding X we get 2y equals again put it in the correct order divide every term by 2 so this is gonna be X over 2 and 10 over 2 I'm showing all of the work on this one uh, pull that number coefficient out front so that's going to be one half x plus oh, oops plus five okay that's what we're going to graph so we're going to make this cross at five there's our anchor and then our slope is one half so we should expect to see something going up but it isn't very steep because remember one is a perfect 45 going up this is a little bit smaller than one so we're going to rise one and run two a rise of one a run of two rise one run two rise one run two uh, go just like that and then the opposite instead of rising one we'd rise negative one so we'd go down and left two down and left two so it looks something like that we've got enough points there to kind of confirm that we've got the right graph and there we go and then we've got this last one right here so to do this problem right here I'm gonna move the 20 so we're gonna add 20 to both sides those will cancel I'm gonna write negative 10 y equals this would be a negative 2x and then plus 20 right here we're gonna divide both sides by negative 10 so that's gonna cancel and give me a y then I've got a negative 2x over a negative 10 and I've got a plus 20 over a negative 10 again I'm showing all the work here just if you can do it a little bit quicker than this that's totally fine so we get y equals this would be 2 over 10 2, go, two goes in here once 2 goes in there five times negative over a negative that's a positive so this is a slope of positive one-fifth slide that x out x out on the end and then we've got a positive 20 divided by negative 10 so that's going to be a negative 2 so this is what we want to graph and I'm going to put a dotted circle around that one since we didn't do that one up above and let's check and make sure that this uh, is graphed correctly so let's see our anchor is going to be negative 2 so we're going to make it cross the y-axis at negative 2 and then the slope is one-fifth that means we're gonna rise one and we're gonna run five so we're gonna go about like that now if you take a glance at roughly what that line would look like we are expecting a line that crosses the y-axis at negative two that has a slope of one-fifth positive one-fifth that should go up from left to right but it shouldn't be very steep because it's such a small number small fraction there so it looks like we're in pretty good shape so let's rise one and run five let's go the other way let's go down one and left five down one and left five and there we go our line looks great we're gonna draw a nice straight line put the arrows on the end and we are all set to go so if you can put them in slope intercept form and then use that to graph the equations you are in great shape